How we doing guys? I got my 05 Nissan Altima S version and I got a antifreeze leak coolant leak and I pulled this off just to kind of see where it was coming from and I noticed right here it might be a little hard to see where my thumb's at but that's where it's cracked at the top of the radiator unfortunately so it's not just an easy hose job to do I'm gonna have to replace the whole radiator but it's not too difficult um, to pop these off just a little uh, screw just put a little flathead under there four of them one two three four I had already done that like I said just to troubleshoot to see what the problem was gonna be at here's one of them right here so just a little knockout screw there pop them out and then does connect to your airflow or your air box here just take that off like so just to give you a little bit more easy access I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cap and we're gonna do this to drain the system off and let it drain a little easier than with the cap on obviously I've been letting my car sit overnight so it shouldn't be too hot but just do it with a towel just in case Obviously, you don't want to do this with after you've just driven your car because that stuff gets extremely hot and you will burn yourself. And once you do have your cap off, you can go ahead and drain it. Again, this is an 05 model. Anywhere from the 02 to 06 model, this should be fairly similar. And here on the passenger side, you'll see a little hole with a Philip head screw. That's going to be your drain port for your radiator. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly remove that off. Alrighty guys, it's still draining. But I went ahead and took off these four clips in the front. Five clips, sorry. One, two, three, four, five again. Just take your flathead and kind of twist as if you to just pull them out. And that way I'm going to have access to these bottom hoses here. And this big one, two, three hoses you're going to have on the lower end of your radiator. You will need to remove those to get the radiator. Next, I'm just going to remove this hose right here. And I might even replace these clips with some easier screw on clips. So you got to pinch that down and kind of wiggle it down far enough just to get it off the little metal clip of the radiator. Voila. Obviously that's going to drain a little bit. And while it's still draining, um, there's some stuff I can do up top. i got a clip right here, or a plug right here, sensor uh, plug for the one fan. And then for the other fan as well, I'm going to go ahead and unplug those and then these clips here. Um, just to move the wire out of the way. That wouldn't when we yank this whole radiator, out, the fan out, and the radiator out, all the wires will be out of our way. Now these are little push clips. So you got to push this end in where my, the tip of that screwdriver is. Push that in and pull it out at the same time. Let me see if I can lay this down somewhere. Hopefully y'all can see that. So I got it pushed in with the screwdriver and you just pull it up and it comes right out. And then got some clips right here. And just like that, take your screwdriver and it'll pop right out. Oops, sorry. Like that. There's one more right here. One more clip kind of hiding from me. Then I can just move this out of my way 
up here out of the way just that way when i'm ready when this is done draining i'll go ahead and yank the fan out still draining i'm just doing this while it's all draining just to kind of go a little quicker when it's done draining um when it is done i'll move this top bolt one and top bolt number two 10 millimeter socket and that'll be able to release the fan from the radiator and then obviously take off your top radiator hose but i'm going to wait for Alrighty guys, now that this is completely drained and just got back from AutoZone because they said my radiator was delivered to the store and went and picked it up. I'm going to go ahead and continue where I was at. I'm going to remove this 10 bolt, 10 millimeter bolt, sorry, 10 millimeter bolt and that second one. And this hose up top. And I'm going to yank this fan out of here. Daddy, What's up, boys? Out, yeah, you guys can come out. Sorry guys, I realized my camera was off, but I got that clip back on there, or slid that clip off so I can use the top of the radiator hose off here, and then I can remove that fan out of the way, and then we'll move to the bottom hose of the bottom of the radiator and remove those two remaining hoses off. car bud so this is the clip I was telling y'all about right here right here this hose sits up there and then plugs into right here so I just removed it from the bottom of the fan just to make it easier to pull the fan up um, so now I can go ahead and bring the fan up and out so we'll get back at the top and we'll go ahead and take the fan out I almost forgot to show y'all how I did that Now we just got to remove the two hoses right here, and then we should be able to get this thing out of here. Alright guys, I'm going to need to remove, I didn't realize. Yep, going to need to remove that thing. Just like Tyson said here, these two brackets here, 10 millimeter again, and then we'll have freedom. For the radiator to pull straight up. Got those off. Just put them out of the way for now. And then this one hose right here that goes to the reservoir. You gotta take that off. Sorry probably tell I'm not a full-time mechanic right but also shows that this isn't a hard job to do at the same time anybody can do this and it does not take special tools as you can also see hold on yep might have to put the camera down because uh radiator is nice and loose now and it wants to actually Move. Sid. Come straight up and out. All right? Easy peasy. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Comes right on out. You can tell it looks like I uh, had a wasp nest or something there building at one point. Alright, guys. As you can see, this is old um, compared to the new one. How much cleaner it is i did match it up turned it everything lines up the exact same so this should be a pretty easy put back together obviously you now you have a pin down here and then one on this side as well um you want to make sure that those pins 
Go right back into that Daddy, left one on and to the right one. Daddy. Hold on. What? Now you're recording. This is this is the thing right here. The coolant. Like the oil. The coolant. The coolant. And this is Russell with a balloon. Where's your balloon at? And then this is and then this is Russell with his balloon. And then this is my thing with my stretchy thing. Can you bring that over here? All right, guys, we got that lined up at least. I just put these brackets on to kind of hold the radiator in place. Make sure. I shouldn't have to say this, but just make sure you put your take remove the caps that are coming on the brand new one. Obviously, you're gonna have to take those caps off. Um, this one's kind of hidden on there, as you can see, it matches. Make sure you take that off to put your hose back on. Don't forget to put your hoses back on. Um, but again, guys, just make sure you get your hoses back on. Take your clip, your the plugs to the new ones off. Um, and then uh, once I get those back on, um, we'll fill her up. And call it good. Alrighty, guys, I got that lower hose on. Don't forget, you got to put your fan on before you can do your upper large hose um obviously it's gonna be in your way if you try and put the fan on after you connect that and i i was fighting the fan for a little bit but if you kind of put start with the bottom right here and kind of go slowly in this way and turn it as you go in i kind of found that to be the easiest way or just take your battery out because that's what kind of gets in the way is your battery um i just was did not want to take that battery out and then make sure on the bottom end it doesn't even mean right here you have a little spot, uh, spot for the fan to drop into into the radio radi uh, radiator spot there's two on one on each end so just make sure that those drop into those slots and then don't forget to reconnect that hose that was in that clip right here um, like I said all my hose is all connected here my drain cap is on installed um, so all I got to do is that upper radiator hose and then I'll be ready to uh, connect the, uh... oh don't forget from the fan, I got my two screws here to connect to the radiator. And then your fan clips to the fan as well. So, I will get back to you when I'm done with that portion. Alrighty guys, got my top hose connected. All my bottom hoses are connected. And my reservoir tank hose connected. I've got my two clips for my fan connected got all my clips connected in to hold the wire in position so they're not floating around the whole engine when you're running it now all we gotta do is fill this bad boy up all righty guys we've filled up the system filled the system up um i'm gonna go and start the car up i'm gonna start burping the system out again i'm gonna squeeze this top radiator hose and that lower radiator hose i'm gonna keep my eye on here at the uh where i fill it up at with the radiator fluid or the fluid for the radiator and just make sure there's no bubbles coming up um, those are the bubbles we want to get out of the system um, so again I'm gonna start the car up and we'll start walking through that process and I probably will also add a little bit more fluid as well into the radiator radiator and into the reserve, uh, reservoir as well as you can tell I'm squeezing it down here at the lower hose and there's no bubbles coming up that tells me that we are doing pretty good so far as as far as there's no air bubbles in the system so i might top it off just a little bit more and add some in the reservoir but other than that as you can see it is a very simple process for anybody to go ahead and do um, i didn't use any special tools to get these clips off um, so if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one.